In today's video, I wanna show you guys on how to make a Google Slides presentation straight off from a YouTube video link. Now this is AI generated and it is powered by Magic Slides AI extension, which I have covered before in the past. You can literally just copy a link of a YouTube video and it'll base off a presentation just based on that. So again, I just wanna let you guys know out there that this is the application, it's called Magic Slides. You can also use my affiliate link down in the description below to sign up for this application. Now, once you have that extension installed, I'm gonna head over to Google Slides now and I'm going to create a blank presentation, right? So this is a fresh presentation I didn't touch it at all and I'm going to for example pick a reference video to you know just base it off of right and I've already uh, found a video here which is me talking about how to travel affordably and cheap for young adults on a budget um, video did not do so well but that's okay because we can make use of this by using it as reference for the PowerPoint or for the Google Slides presentation so exactly what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy and paste uh, my YouTube video link, right? You could, it doesn't matter how you do it. You could hit share and copy this link as well. Um, or you can just go to the web browser. I'm going to head back here to the Google Slides presentation. I'm going to do, I'm going to head over to extensions, magic slides, and I'm going to hit YouTube to PPT or YouTube to essentially Google Slides, right? Let it load a little bit. Um, and the tab on the right is going to show up. Um, which prompts you of which YouTube video URL it is. So I'm gonna paste this YouTube video uh, URL over here, which is essentially my YouTube video, right? It's public, uh, make sure it's public too, by the way, not private. Um, and then you could, there are a couple options here. You can replace the existing slides, which I'm not going to. You could have images for each slide, which I would think would be nice. So I'm gonna keep that there. Um, show content source and send email when done. You can uncheck this if you don't want to get emailed, but I'm just going to leave that checked for now and just leave it as is, right? I'm just going to generate it just the way um, it has it here. And I'm not going to touch anything. Five numbers of slides. Let's see what this tool comes up with. Awesome. So as you can see here, after giving it a couple of seconds, the tool has generated us the Google Slides presentation that we wanted. So now you can see here, it even says budget travel tips, how to travel affordably and for cheap. Obviously, it doesn't get the young adults for, uh, text in there but you can again like i said you can always tweak it change it to your liking and i did say i want five slides from it so it gave me exactly five slides so we have a title slide we have an intro here uh introduction right some would travel on a budget learn from my travel experiences discover hacks and tips for affordable travel next up is probably another point which i talked about in the video which is accommodation consider alternatives to expensive hotels like airbnb or hostels choose accommodations in the outskirts to save money and avoid crowded tourist areas which I believe is something that I said, right? See, uh, like Airbnb, cheaper than hotels, don't pick high tourist areas. See, you see how accurate this is kind of getting, right? You can literally find a good YouTube video and it'll literally base that Google Slides presentation on that video. So again, it's really saves you a lot of time instead of just tapping back and forth watching a video, use this tool, makes it for you just in like under a minute, right? Transportation, save on transportation costs, use public transportation, utilize promotions, find budget-friendly flight dates, again, like I said, this is stuff that I've mentioned before in my video, food and dining, and obviously the list goes on and on. But again, you could use this to your liking, change the number of slides. You can even customize your slides here. Um, as you can see, this is just a default theme, but you could change the accent, you could change the title fonts, you could change the font size, the body font. Again, very customizable in the ways that you want it. So again, this is just gonna be a really quick video, but again, it is an awesome and useful video and a useful tool. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see you guys all in the next video.